Hi, welcome to the Hibernate uh, class. In the first chapter, we saw how to set up Eclipse database in Hibernate, and in we also learned how to like you know uh, create a table out of a class, and we also learned how to insert an object as a record in that particular table. In the second chapter, we are going to learn about a few more annotations and how to generate the primary key. Now we had this employee class out of which we created a table called employee and it had these two columns employee ID and employee name. Now imagine a scenario where you don't want the table name to be called employee. You want to give some other name for that particular table like employee info or something like that. Okay. For that at T control space remember we have to like select java x dot persistence because this is like sun jpa annotations if we are going to select hibernate annotations that means we are becoming dependent on hibernate and tomorrow if the technology changes to some other orm tool like we are in trouble so if you select java x dot persistence and tomorrow if you're going to change to some other orm tool then like we don't have to worry about these classes because every tool will follow JPA annotations, Java extra persistence. Okay. Now for this particular table annotation, you have a few features like name. So select name equal to say employee info. Okay. I want the table to be called employee info. We don't have to worry about the uh, uppercase or lowercase here because like all names of the tables will be converted into uppercase letters okay now we have given a table name there are other features also like you know you put control uh, comma and then put a control space you can give the schema name here but I'm not really worried about the schema name because if you remember we gave our schema name right here in the configuration file okay but if you feel like you want to give your schema name right here go ahead I was able to now give a different name for our class uh, for our table now how do I give a different name for these particular columns to give a different name for the particular columns all you have to do is go to the getter method put this at and then say C control space and then select Java X dot persistence and over here open parenthesis control space and here you can give something called as name and you can give a different name for those particular columns so for in this case I want to give a name like employee ID I want to spell it out okay employee ID good now let us add a few more data and then we will see like what are the other annotations that are available <coughs> now here I have added a few more data you may have to pause the video here that is I have something called as an employee password employee email address um, boolean parameter is the employee permanent and I have something called as the employee join date and like you know employee login time like what time does the employee come into the office regularly okay I want to have something like that now after creating the data let us create generate the getters and setters right click source generate getters and setters and then select all and then click OK. So we have generated the getters and setters for these particular data. Now let us go and look at all the other annotations that are available. OK, good. Now I told you like if you have any data here in the particular class, all these data is going to become columns in the particular table like we are going to have columns like employee ID employee name password email address permanent join date and login time imagine I really don't want to have this particular data as a column so how do you prevent a data in your class to be what you call stored as a column go to the getter method once again I can do it right here at the uh, data level which some people find it very comfortable and uh, easy to understand but I always prefer this getter method okay right go on top of this get employee password and we have an annotation called transient we have an annotation called transient all this annotation does is it says hey 
do not save this particular column password as a column in the table okay good now for the employee address like imagine this employee address column I want it to be a not null column that is I want to make sure that every record uh, has an employee address so how to create a not null column we can go back to our column annotation put at and then like you know C and then control space Java X dot persistence column annotation and here you can say like you know nullable control space equal to false nullable equal to false the column annotations you can give like you know you can even give the name here like you know name equal to you can give something else for the name but I'm really not interested in giving a new name for this particular column let it be like you know email address itself like EMP email address but then this has to be nullable equal to false now is permanent I want to I really don't have an annotation for it it's going to be a boolean parameter let it store as it is um, so if you don't have any annotations to give you want to just store it as it is some people will give an annotation called basic this is like a default annotation like if you don't give an annotation by default hibernate will have a basic annotation put to it so some some programmers have the habit of putting it uh, some people don't uh, so I will leave it up to you guys for the employee join date now let's have a look at this I want to store the date information like you know when the employee joined for that I have something called as temporal see this temporal and then I have something called as temporal type dot and we have like three different ways to store the particular date you just want the date you select date if you want only the time information to be stored select the time if you want the date and time to be stored then like you know store the timestamp so what I'll do is this I will first select for the join date I just want the date and for the employee login time I want to know like you know every day when he logs in like you know so I'm going to select temporal and then temporal type dot timestamp temporal type timestamp so that's it so we learned a few annotations today that is we learned how to give a different table name for our class we also learned like how not to store a particular data as a column we learned how to create a not null column and basic is like you know it's a default annotation it plays no role and then we learned how to store date and we learned how to store like a date and time and then like if you want to change the name of the particular columns to something else we learned how to do that too okay good now let us go test this out to test it out remember we have like a not null column so in our particular data we need to set the employee email address okay so let us go back to our data and so we need to set the email address alex dot set emp email address and then we can give something like alex dot alex at hibernate dot com cool now make sure that we remove this comment out of schema export because we want to create a table out of this particular class we want to drop the table since we have added a lot of other columns so let us uncomment this save it and now let us run this particular main method run as java application then it will like drop the table and then it's going to insert a new record so cool let's go check out our table so once you run this particular class file make sure that you know you refresh this particular database or something like that so that we can see the latest results go to the tables and then see here we have something called as employee info because what it did is it created a table called employee info because we changed the name of the particular class to employee info and then you can see right click sample contents here you can notice that it created all these particular columns right from the class.
class file. See how easy it is in Hibernate to create a table just like that on the fly uh, with a few annotations. So this is the advantage of Hibernate, one of the advantages of Hibernate.